Osiron. This is hot. Butter gloss. I really like these. Mmm. Not sure about that. No! Wait. If you've not yet got an advent calendar, there is still one on the market and it's usually pretty good. So today, my darlings, I shall be unboxing the NYX Diamond and Ice Advent Calendar for 2020. I don't know why, but usually I unbox this advent calendar super early, but this year, I'm unboxing it later, so huge apologies for the delay. Now this one you can pick up for £50, but the contents inside is worth £89. Now there isn't a huge saving on this advent calendar, but at least there is some kind of saving. But before I get unboxing this video, don't forget I have a number of giveaways. Once I hit 220, 230 and 240,000 subscribers, I shall be giving away the advent calendars listed on screen. Also, once I hit 100,000 followers on Instagram, I shall be giving away the sold out cult beauty advent calendar, which is worth nearly a thousand pounds. To enter, all you gotta do is subscribe, turn on the notifications and go follow my Instagram link down below. I have to say this, I much prefer this packaging to last year's. Last year we got a really weird cube and it was so awkward to unbox. And look at the design this year. It's really pretty. Day number one. It's actually quite difficult to see the door numbers. Ugh. First up, we have a matte lipstick. Now this is a heavy lip product advent calendar, by the way, so if you don't really like lip products, this might not be for you. So first up, we have a matte red lipstick by the looks of things. It is, it's in the color Perfect Red, and what a way to start off an advent calendar. We have something red. I absolutely love getting red products, as you guys know. Now this is a matte lipstick, so it is more of a matte finish, as opposed to a satin or silk finish. Day number two, we have something different. We've got pore filler next. So this is the NYX Pore Filler, and this is a primer base. I actually quite like the fact that they have not followed up with another lip product. It just gives it a bit more variety. It makes it a bit more exciting. So this is really good to wear underneath makeup. It basically helps to give the makeup a nice flawless finish, and it also helps to infill larger pores. Door number three, another lip product is next, but it isn't a lipstick. Here we do have the Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the color Cans. These, by the way, are incredible. I absolutely love the liquid matte lipsticks. They last on the lip for a very, very long time. I think much longer than the lipsticks. It's super creamy, it does um, finish off quite matte, so if you find it a little drying or you like a little bit of a gloss, definitely pop a lip gloss on top. Day number four. Oh my goodness, I accidentally unboxed door number 24 as day number two. <gasps> oh no. I'm gonna unbox day number two as door number four. Are we on door number four? Okay. For door number two, we did have something different. So this is the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. This is cool, we're getting a bit of variety. This is good. It's a rose gold pinky color, but it does come out quite matte on the skin. It's a little bit sticky, ever so slightly though. I think we're back on track, day number five. We have a lip scrub. We had this in previous years. So this is called This Is Everything Lip Scrub. Now this is a really good product to polish the lips before applying your lip product. So what this will do, it will gently exfoliate the lips, it will get rid of the dead skin, and I remember these smelling really good. Mmm. It also leaves like a really nice residue, like a balm on the lips after. Day number six. This is a gorgeous color, oh my goodness. So this is a butter gloss and this is angel food cake. Now this is a much more pinker tone than the other color that we got earlier 
As you can see, this one's more brownie, whereas this is lovely and pink. Butter gloss, I really like these. Basically, they're like a colored lip gloss. They have so much pigmentation inside and it does come out this beautiful color. Door number seven. Actually, finding the numbers isn't that hard because they're, they're in a row. <laughs> Oh, it took me a while to figure that out. Day number seven, we have got eyeshadow. I love the fact that we have a different product every other day. Like, it looks like we've got a lip product, then something different, a lip product, and something different. So this is an eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Crystal. Now, crystals actually look like crystals. No, wait. Crystal actually looks like crystals. This is really beautiful. It's a really nice shade for Christmas. Add a bit of sparkle. Now it's in this color. It's, um, all I can describe it is, it's a little bit grayy, silvery. Yeah, silvery. A little bit like tinsel. Day number eight. A lip product. Now this is a, this is everything lip oil. Again, something different. This would be a really nice product to wear underneath the lipsticks or lip products or on top if you want a bit of a shine. It does have a slight pink tone so you can definitely wear it on its own. Door number nine. We do have another lip product and this is the This Is Everything lip oil again. So this one is in the color Sheer but this one is in the color Sheer Blush. Uh, okay, what's the difference? Um, this one definitely has more colour as opposed to the other lip oil, but, um, two lip oils following each other? Mmm, not sure about that. Door number 10 is quite a long and large door. We have another liquid illuminator. So, this one is in the color Gleam. Now Gleam is a different color to the other one that we got earlier. So this is more pinker, whereas this one's a bit more bronzy. I actually prefer this one. I think it would look amazing if you do fake tan. I have fake tan on right now. And I think it would look really pretty on the cheekbones. If you want, you can actually mix this into um, your BB cream or your foundation if you want more of a glowy, illuminating, dewy finish. Or again, you can pop on the body if you want to make your legs longer. Door number 11. We are back to the lip products and here we have the Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the color Rome. Rome is a beautiful color. It's almost like a maroon color. I really like it. I think it's always good to have darker colors. I mean, it is darker to this one that we got earlier. So this could be for day and this one could be for night. Day number 12, halfway through. We have a lip balm. Next up. I think it's really important to have lip balms during the wintry months. I don't know about you, but I have to apply lip balm religiously to avoid my lips getting dry, um, sore, and really chappy. So this is a perfect addition. What does it smell like? I was hoping that this would smell of strawberries, but it smells of absolutely nothing. Oh, come on. It should really smell like strawberries or something. Door number 13. Oh, okay. I don't think we've ever had this before, but this is the Finishing HD Powder. I like to pop something like this um, to avoid creasing underneath the eye. I like pop it underneath here, and it does a really good job. It's almost like a... Um, Translucent powder. Well, it is a translucent powder, really. Day number 14. We're back onto the lipsticks next, and we've got a matte one. So this is in the colour natural, and it's um oh okay. It is like a natural kind of berry colour. This is really pretty. It is very similar to the butter gloss that we got earlier, but it is slightly lighter. Day number 15. Butter gloss is next. Um, looks similar. Hmm. No, it is lighter, to be honest with you, but we're, we're starting to get a little bit, well, a lot of pinks, haven't we? Could this be overkill? Too much pink, maybe? Anyway, we do have this nude, peachy, 
pinky colour. Day number 16 looks like it could be a eyeshadow. It is! Oh my god, it's beautiful! And I think we've got something gold. Again, this looks a little bit like tinsel. It's very glitzy, a really nice colour to pair with a bronzy kind of smoky look. This is absolutely beautiful. Now, the pigmentation of these glittery, shimmery eyeshadows are actually really, really good. I mean, they're not like a MAC um, eyeshadow, but they're pretty good. Day number 17. Another eyeshadow. No! Wait. So the day before we got the colour golden bronze and here we've got bronze goddess. This is overkill. They're so identical in colour, I cannot tell you. Day number 18. Oh, this is so Stunning this colour. Wow wee. So this is a matte lipstick and this is in the shade Siren. Oh Siren. This is hot. It's like a dark plum colour and I'm all about that. This is perfect for New Year's Eve with like a glitzy silvery eye. I think they'll look absolutely dreamy. It's different. Door number 19. Another matte lipstick. Gosh, they're coming like buses now, aren't they? So this is in the colour Whipped Caviar. Whipped Caviar, again, is like a pink colour. Um, is it similar to the other one we got earlier? Oh my goodness. Again, these are very similar in shade. We do have a lot of the same colours in here. Door number 20. Another eyeshadow, but we got a pinker tone. Here we have the colour rose gold and it's absolutely dreamy. Now I'm going to say this. I actually wished that they popped in some matte eyeshadow colours and of course some of the shimmer tones. We've had four shimmer colours so far. I would have liked at least two of them to be probably like a matte colour. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Door number 21. What is this? Up next we have the HD Studio Photogenic Eyeshadow Base. Okay, we have eyeshadow primer. That does make sense. Maybe next year they should pop in a lip primer maybe that would be pretty good door number 22 another one oh my gosh so we have another eyeshadow and this is antique gold i mean we've got some in gold and i'm really happy about that but we've had too many sparkly shimmery eyeshadows door number 23 butter gloss again and this is in the color tiramisu these are all the butter glosses that we've had and they're so similar in color i really really hope next year they add more variety in the colors what do you guys think door number 24 which is the final day but i'm gonna open door number four that means for door number 24 we only had an illuminator here we have glam purple whilst i really like the color we've just had too many shimmery tones for my for my liking. So there we go guys, that is everything inside the Diamonds and Ice Advent Calendar by NYX. Now, what did I think? First of all, like I've said, I really think next year they should pop in some matte eyeshadow colours. I think the um, shimmery eyeshadows are beautiful, but we had an overkill. The lip colours, I mean, I love the fact that we had different varieties of lip product. We had matte lipsticks, we had creams, we had glosses, we had lip oil. We did actually have quite a good variety there. However, the colours need to kind of vary a little bit more next year. I mean, we did have some really nice wearable colours, which I think is amazing. But I don't know, maybe next year they should throw in some wild cards. We did have a lot of pink. How much does each door work out to be? Oh my goodness, each door works out to be two pounds each, which I think is bloody good. What did you guys make of this advent calendar? Please drop me a comment down below. Like I said that this advent calendar is still available and I've left the link down in the description. Oh my goodness, it's raining so hard outside and it's like vibrating my head. But as always guys, please make sure that you link, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye!